Good day guys, MF West here, and today I'm having I have a video for you guys discussing the recent changes to Unholy. Um, the buffs and nerfs that Unholy just got in like the last, what was it, two, 24 hours, 48 hours. And I just wanted to discuss with you guys my opinion of it, and if it's actually going to be a buff or a nerf, and where Unholy is right now in terms of PvP and um, PvE. So guys, let's go look at that right now. Alright, so these are the changes. If you go to MMO Champion, uh, you'll be able to check out the changes that they did to Unholy and every other class. Uh, this is coming on the 21st of February. So that's in the next few days, pretty much. And yeah, let's have a look at it. So may basically, this patch is just a class and PvP. It's basically to do with PvP. It has nothing to do with PvE. Um, so let's have a look at it, guys. Um... Unholy, first off in on the list, because obviously D. Uh, virulent play damage over time effect has been increased by 67%. Damage chain unchanged in PvP. Okay, a buff to virulent play, quite a heavy buff. Um, I, I honestly need to see the numbers and what I'm simming at now as I'm comparing to simming later, but. Right now, guys, in Nighthold, Unholy isn't doing that well. Um, unfortunately, our counterpart Frost is blitzing it in Nighthold, but these are buffs to Unholy, so we can just hope they can just keep giving us buffs because far out Unholy is not performing well, guys, in, um, in PvE. Uh, okay, so summon Gargoyle. Gargoyle strike damage has been increased by 50%. I'm confused about the strike damage. Um, I'm thinking... When the goggle hits the target immediately, that damage has been buffed. I mean, I'm not sure how that's working, but like I said, I do need to look at that up on after the patch goes live, and I'll be reporting to you guys. And Dark Arbiter, they're really trying to bring Dark Arbiter to become relevant, but that talent is just so irrelevant, guys. Um, Soul Reaper is way better. Multitude's better in all aspects. There's not even a single fight in Nighthold you would take Dark Arbiter. There just isn't. Even with the legendary shoulders. Still not good enough. And then for player vs player we've got some nerfs. Can you believe it? We are getting nerfed in PvP. Unholy Death Knights. The most underrated well not underrated, just like underwhelming class right now. I do really think that Unholy has a special place in PvP. We are the kings of battlegrounds, and in arena in specific setups, like I've been uh, testing the last few days, we can shine. But this is not going to help. Um, okay, they buffed Dark um, Simulacrum by reducing its cooldown by 5 seconds. I do think in 2s especially, even in 3s, you should be using this ability. It is extremely strong, guys. Um, you can pretty much just have another form of CC or deny um, the opponents their CC as well. Very, very strong ability. Uh, you do have to have good ping for this. This is why I'm having a bit of trouble using it, but I would really recommend. Um, Blood DK is no longer deal reduced damage in PvP situations. Yeah, that's a weird bug or something. Then Unholy, Crypt Fever's damage has been reduced by 15%. Uh, why? Why? I mean, I bet you... I don't know, maybe my, my recent video showing how ridiculous Crypt Fever damage is. I don't know, like... Why? Unholy Death Knights have their place in BGs. We're really strong in BGs. We have great pressure. We can split our wounds on targets. And Crypt Fever will just tick like fucking nuts. 15% is it going to affect us? Okay, BGs, honestly, will still be strong. Crypt Fever will still be one of our top damage dealers. In Arena, though, that's really going to hurt. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really pissed off about that, guys. But we did receive buffs in, in PvE, so maybe it can round up, but right now I'm not thinking so. And then you get like all the other classes, Fire Major got nerfed. Hunters, they're doing some weird ass shit to them, like adjusting their templates. And same with Warlocks, and that's about it, guys. Um, I did want to discuss um, the recent changes coming up in 7.2 to players versus characters. So. As you guys know, World PvP is absolutely messed up. World PvP is stupid. So, uh, Hayes made a video recently talking about how this might change World PvP, and I agree, it might actually make dueling legitimate, so you don't die in like one apocalypse or a shambling horror or a glacial spike. 
something ridiculous like that. But yeah, this this is going to make Arena very bursty. So now they're reducing the damage people are dealing to other players, but not touching healing. Healers will be able to deal with like the kind of rotting builds. Um, Walking Dead will probably become Unholy Deathmite's best comp because of how well we can lock down and burst targets. But yeah, that's that is quite interesting. And yeah, I mean, we're gonna have to see. Seven point two is quite a long way away so let's just see and the last thing I want to talk about guys was the tier sets for death knights now um, I just wanted to go find the death knight one have you guys actually seen the tier sets for 7.2 now I'm not exactly happy with it now, tell me what you guys think but I'm really not happy with this they're still fine tuning it but the problem is, fine shooting is numbers. They've made our tier set bonuses. That it, like this is guaranteed. This is what our tier sets are going to be. Now they're just adjusting numbers. So let's have a look. Unholy tier twenty two piece. Death coil causes one of your army of the dead ghouls to explode, dealing a one hundred and fifty percent of attack power damage up to zero nearby enemies. What the fuck is that? That is the most useless two set I have seen them make for death knights. Why we want to destroy our army? in the first place, they, uh, they give us buffs, they give us, they do damage, so when we use our apocalypse, or the opening rotation would be like, um, um, okay, so you summon your army of the dead at the start of the boss fight, your apocalypse, and then after the apocalypse, when all your ghouls are up, you're gonna be like, this is gonna force you to spam death call and then, and then explode all of them, okay, it's gonna be a shitload of a um, burst DPS, like burst damage. But will that make up for the consistent damage that they um, give us with debuffs and stuff? I don't know, guys. It's a very underwhelming two-piece. Four-piece, each rune you spend reduces the cooldown of Army of the Dead by three seconds. That's interesting. Now, as you guys notice, there's no more RNG in our tier sets. High five. Finally, they've realized that we don't need more RNG in our tier sets. But Army of the Dead is something you need to build up it's, we use it at the start of the fight because it's the easiest time to use it in a fight. Um, you don't need to actually pull your runes, pull your runic power so you have enough runes. So you're going to have to be watching your, your cooldowns and time it in a phase where you can actually use Army of the Dead. All your runes will go on cooldown and then have enough runic power to bring them back off cooldown. But Army of the Dead is a pretty big uh, increase in damage and that will mesh with the two set again by using your death coil. So there you have it, guys. That is the roundup for the last three, four days of information on the Holy Death Knights. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a bit of an up and down ro like roller coaster for Unholy right now, but let's just try and get through it. I'm going to keep pumping out content for Unholy. Okay, guys. MF West out. Unholy for the win.